Hello everyone, this is EB the Original Master here, and I'm back with a new video game review. And this time I'm going to be using my phone for this review, is because that I'm already on it right now, and it's pretty early in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this review via my face. And I'll be reviewing uh, Super Mario World uh, for the Super Nintendo, and I'm going to be reviewing the Nintendo Switch Online version, is because that um, I have recently got Nintendo Switch Online... Uh, thanks to one of my Discord friends, and because I've got the subscription, I've been playing lots of Super Nintendo games, and I've been having lots of fun with it. So, uh, Super Mario World is the launch title of the Super Nintendo released back in 1991, and it is um, the fourth Mario game in the mainline series of, of games. And in this game, uh, Mario... And Princess Peach goes on a vacation to Dinosaur Land um, after the events of Super Mario Bros. 3. And uh, Luigi joins along in the adventure. And it turns out that Bowser had kidnapped Princess Peach. And it is up to Mario and Luigi to rescue Peach with the help of his new friend Yoshi, who was trapped in an egg by Bowser. And Bowser informs Yoshi... Oh, I'm sorry... I don't know why I said that. I meant to say Mario was informed by Yoshi, or Yoshi tells Mario that Bowser had trapped all of his friends in eggs, and he has to go and rescue them. So some of the cool parts about Super Mario World are the levels. The levels are very vibrant and colorful, and the level design is pretty unique in this game. Now, when I played through Super Mario World, I didn't go... Th for all of the secret exits is because this is my first time playing Super Mario World. I've never played this game beforehand, and this is actually uh, my very first experience. So I decided to play the game normally. I have to say, for an early Super Mario title, this was actually a pretty easy Mario game. Because I was actually hoping that, um, because this was like an older Mario game, there will be some harder elements into it. But I gotta say, this game really isn't as hard as I was hoping it for it to be. So yeah, some of the levels were pretty unique, such as um, Yoshi's Island, uh, Donut Plains, Vanilla Dome. Uh, you also got Chocolate. I think it's called Chocolate Island or something, but yeah, those are some of the worlds in the game and Super Mario World. Uh, some of the power-ups in this game includes uh, the Super Mushroom, the Fire Flower, the Star Man, your classic Mario power-ups, alongside of some new ones, such as the Cape Feather, now, I never really utilized the Cape Feather all that much just because I've only used it for, like, um, spin attacking enemies to defeat them. I never really used it to fly around the level. It's because that I just never did it. So, yeah, um, another cool thing about this game are the boss battles, which are against the Koopalings. And unlike their battles in Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, the Koopalings don't use magic wands to, to send magic to attack Mario. But instead, they basically charge after Mario, or they do attacks like Breathing Fire, uh, which is uh, Ludwig's battle. You have Lemmy and Wendy's battle, where they pop out of these warp pipes, so you have to like step on them. While these fake Lemmys and Wendy's pop out from the pipes, they have to jump on the real one to defeat them. So, yeah, overall, Super Mario World was a... Pretty solid game. This was actually a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. Um, the levels were unique. The, the new power-ups were pretty cool. And the worlds are very awesome. So, if I have to give this game a rating, I'll give Super Mario World a 9 out of 10. It was a pretty fun game. Uh, I am not going to go and 100% it. It's because that, that wasn't my priority. My priority was to at least beat the game. And I actually did beat it. I actually beat the final boss against Bowser... It took me a few tries, but I've finally gotten the hang of it. Alright, so that is my review on Super Mario World. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun with this game. And I'll see you guys next time on my next review that I'll be doing in the future, which is going to be on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So be on the lookout for that review later in this year. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with another video game review.